Hello and welcome to this special College Night edition of Valovision News. I'm Stephen Hammond. And I'm Lydia Hendrick. Thanks so much for watching. Last weekend was the university's famous college, college night homecoming here at Montevallo. The beloved homecoming tradition was a sold out event this year. The competitive musical theater event was kicked off by Purple Side and their show entitled Pleasant Vanished. The show was about 247 people vanished in the town of Pleasant during their yearly fall festival 20 years ago. The main character, Carolyn, received a diary from her long-lost aunt, which begins her journey to discover the truth behind the events at the Fall Festival. In the end, she finds out that the disappearance was caused by her father's friend, who made them disappear by using mind-controlling nanobots. Purple Side members praise this year's production. Life, death, and what it all means, this is what Goldside's show, To Live and Die, sought to answer. The story followed Elsia, the goddess of life, and Moros, the goddess of death, as they are sent to the real world, world to rediscover the meaning of their roles as gods. After teaming up with a girl named Olive and her brother Jack, the two gods find Ordia, the goddess of order, Ordia tells them that death gives life purpose. The group is forced to reconcile with the truth, even in the face of heartbreak. The performance resonated with both current students and alums. Um, I thought it was amazing. Uh, I thought that every number that they did was so hard work, like they worked so hard for this. Um, they, amazing voices, obviously. The acting was amazing, gave it a 10 out of 10. Out of like, out of like most of the shows I've been part of and shows I've seen, like this one has so much heart and like even though it has a bittersweet ending, there's still like a bit of hope, hopefulness in the end and I feel like that's something that our site needs and, and that College Night needs in general. So. After both shows were performed, the judges left to tally the final scores, including all of the other homecoming events throughout the season. When it was time to announce the winner, the purples and golds filled the Palmer stage. The winner was Goldside. Congratulations to everyone who worked so hard all season long on the side. It all paid off. This year's GV was Goldside's 48th College Night victory. If you missed the performances or you want to watch them again, the UM Mass Communication Program has you covered. The College Night 2024 live stream is available to rewatch on the Montevallo 4 u YouTube channel. And for in-depth recaps of this year's shows, check out our digital coverage on valavisionnews.com. During intermission of Friday's College Night Shows, Aubrey Chastain, student trustee, announced the 2024 Mr. and Mrs. Montevallo recipients. Senior Abby Truitt and our very own Stephen Heyman were awarded with the crowns. Mr. and Miss Montevallo is an honor bestowed upon a female and male from the student body based on their character, academic achievements voted on by a student body election. So Steve, you were heavily involved in College Night this year. Can you tell us how it felt to win with your beautiful girlfriend? <laughs> and how, how did it feel to win a gold side victory? It was genuinely one of the best weekends of my life. And yeah. Saturday especially was one of the best days of my life. Yeah. Um, like you say, getting to win Mr. and Ms. Montevallo with my girlfriend was yeah. something that like we both thought was possible. But like I, I don't think any of us either foresaw it actually happening so it's just like I don't know it's it's genuinely like one of those moments moments I think I'll just remember for the rest of my life you yeah. know I don't think I'll ever forget that and then just to cap it all off with a gold victory after we worked Absolutely. and put everything into that show it was just very <laughs> oh it was a beautiful weekend yeah, I can I, only I, no imagine notes, truthfully I'll remember it for the rest of my life so it's such yeah. a fairy tale moment yeah congratulations no, like to you thank you thank you <laughs> This year's college night was dedicated to beloved UM employee Alfred Kojima. Kojima currently serves as the university's parking attendant, but started out by volunteering in sports reporting. As Kojima accepted the award, he held up both purple and gold signs and was met with plenty of cheers from the crowd. Remember, there's always more news 24-7 on our social media pages. So search for Valavision News on Instagram, Facebook, and X. 
For more stories throughout the week, keep it locked on Valavision News. Still ahead on Valavision News, Goldside leader Anna Brassfield joins us in the studio to talk about this year's GV. Plus, UM dedicates its new nursing facilities ahead of the launch of its College of Nursing later this year. Here from the college founding dean, Dr. Crystal Bennett. We'll be right back. Create your future as a social media manager, filmmaker, journalist, and so much more with a degree in communication studies and mass communication. Visit montevallo.edu slash COFA for more information. You belong at Montevallo. Welcome back to the special College Night edition of Valavision News. We have winning gold side leader Anna Brassfield with us today. Anna, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you guys? Great. Fantastic. All myself. right, so I think the question in the air after college night is how did it feel to win? Can you describe how that felt? Extremely rewarding. Um, it felt like all the hard work of everyone had paid off. Um, very um, surprising and just like very good to feel. So, yeah. yeah, and with all the hard work you and your team put in, what type of effort does it take to get a gold side win? It takes a certain level of like dedication and work. Um, I think everyone kind of raised up to the level that it needed to be this year and kind of worked hard, put their all into everything. And each and every aspect of college night is that you have to work hard at every single point of it to get the win. So I think everyone did that and like um, worked hard in every area. Um, so I was in the show, so I know, you know, a percentage of, of what it takes. But um, being a leader is, is, is different than that, obviously. Yeah. So. How did you balance being a leader with um, school and all of that? I, even in the show, just had an incredibly tough time doing it. So yeah. how how did you find that? Um, I think it just is about like managing your time well, but also like the support from others. I think I had a lot of um, um, educational resources from my professors and um, from um, Miriam Brown and all the advisors of College Night as well. Just knowing um, what I was working on and kind yeah. of um, I have Jeff Walker as a, a teacher and professor so he obviously understands what that kind of is like yeah and you have so many connections and so much support you've definitely mm -hmm. laid your roots down here at Montebello <laughs> and with being a senior what will you take away from this experience as you leave the university yeah I feel like I learned a lot this year um, over the course of my time being leader at just like leadership skills um, managing skills how to talk to people um, and just how that kind of works and I think I'll take away so many professional skills from this experience yeah. Um, so, to anybody who might want to run for leader, mm -hmm. well, what is some advice that you could give to someone on either side that maybe is thinking of running this year or running down the line? Um, take every moment in, even if you're running, when you're running, um, talking to the people, telling them how much you care about Goldside, whether you get leader or not. It's, you know, showing your passion and your drive for um, Goldside is really what matters. and. Um, Take in the moments, it's all over in a flash and um, it's incredibly special, so. Yeah, and of course we all wanna know, what was your favorite part of the show? Um, probably the finale. Yeah. I think it well rounded out my time here at Montevallo and it was so special to me. I mean, I teared up every single time mm -hmm. they sang it and it was just amazing to listen to. It was incredible um, to watch and I felt every lyric within my soul, so. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you so much, Anna, for your time. We really appreciate you, okay? Yes, thank All you. Right. We'll be right back with a look at more campus headlines. Welcome back to Vallovision News. There's good news for UM students. The Board of Trustees has approved freezing tuition for the seventh year in a row. The Board approved extending the tuition freeze at last week's trustees meeting. For undergraduate students, that means in-state tuition will remain $403 per credit hour for the 2024-2025 school year. The university also announced it will continue to waive its ACT or SAT requirements for incoming students. More than 100 people showed up at the Student Activity Center on Tuesday, 
February, February 13th, to celebrate the life of Baird Dempsey. The freshman UM wrestler died in a car crash earlier this month. The candlelight visual organized by the athletics department or was organized by the athletics department. Dempsey's friends and teammates shared stories and memories during the visual. Many said he, he will be remembered for his positive attitude, hard work, and his faith in God. Athletic director Mark Richards says he is thankful for the st student support and them showing up during this difficult time. Uh, the student athletes were amazing tonight. The support they came out to, to show not only the, the uh, Falcon family, but for our wrestling team. The university's athletic department says the next match the wrestlers team will, be, will have is at the NCAA Regionals in South Carolina on March 2nd. UM is taking major steps to prepare for its new College of Nursing. Valavision News reporter Avery Zhao has more information. With the new year, it usually brings new goals to check off before the year ends. However, for the University of Montevallo, they're checking things off pretty early as they will be ensuring a new college arriving the campus this fall. Last Friday, the university brought a crowd out to celebrate its new college of nursing at Myrick Hall. President Stewart is the first president to introduce a new college for the university since 1969. Recently, there has been a shortage of nurses not only in Alabama, but across the country as well. It's our, our uh, high calling to, to um, address the needs of the people in our community. And we feel like we've got a great team on campus and do a great team with every, uh, do a great job with everything else we do. So I think we'll do a great job with nursing as well. Dr. Crystal Bennett, who comes from 20 years of experience working at West Florida, she shared her excitement of beginning her new journey at the university. Gosh, well, it's very exciting. I'm very excited to be here. It's an honor and a pleasure. Um, I knew when I came to here for the interview that I really fell in love with this university. So I cannot wait to get started. With so many things to start from, Bennett explained her excitement comes from breaking the mold and getting to know the Montevallo community. I think just being a part of something from the ground up and being able to work with a team of people, whether that's in different departments on campus, whether that's with new nursing faculty, with new staff, and get to meet the students that are interested in nursing and possibly other healthcare careers. Though not official by the state yet, Bennett predicts the reports and paperwork sent already to the state should be approved by May. For the latest updates around Montevallo and across Alabama, for Valavision News, I'm Avery Zhao. We've got more on this story on our website, valavisionnews.com. Mark your calendars for this month's Communication Career Day. The networking fair is Wednesday, February 28th from 10 to 11.30 in the Student Activity Center. It will spotlight a variety of communication-related careers, including news, video production, social media, public relations, and more. It's open to all students, faculty, and staff. The event is co-sponsored by the Department of Communication and the Career Development Center. Remember, there's always more news from our team of reporters on our website. Visit valavisionnews.com to see more stories from UM throughout the week. That's all the time we have for today's show. Thanks for watching and be sure to tune into Valavision News again next week.